Number 29. If the 3.21 grams of the ammonium nitrate, which is NH4NO3, in example 5.6, were dissolved in 100.0 grams of water under the same conditions, how much would the temperature change? And then explain your answer. Okay, so I went back to example 5.6 for you guys, and I wrote down the most important part that we're going to use to figure out this, uh, uh, this problem. So basically, under their conditions, they found out that they were going to release 1,000, 1 1.0 times 10 to the third joules of heat. This solution mimics the solution of water because it was uh, aqueous. So the uh, specific heat is the same of water, and that's what we're going to have here. And they basically said that, you know, it's, we're under the same conditions, so the initial temperature was 24.9 degrees Celsius. Now, the only thing that's different is that in this scenario, we dissolved it in 50 grams of water, and in this case, we're going to dissolve it in double the amount, so 100 grams of water. So we're doing solution chemistry, so we're adding two things together, a ionic compound, ammonium nitrate is ionic because it's two polyatomics, we're dissolving it in water, so we just basically go back to the formula of this one, Q equals MS delta T. Now, if we're keeping everything under the same conditions, that means that this Q is going to be the same. It's going to be the negative 1.0 times 10 to the third joules. Now, the mass is going to change a little bit. For solutions, right, we are just add up the total mass of the solution. In this case, it's the 3.21 grams of the ammonium nitrate plus the 100 grams of the water. So we have a total mass of the solution of 103.21 grams. They told us that the specific heat of the solution is 4.184. This was back in uh, example 5.6, so we're going to use the same conditions for that. And basically what we have to solve is, you know, how much would that temperature change? So we want to see what the delta T is. So I'm going to solve for this. So let's, let's go for it. Negative 1.0 times 10 to the third equals 103.21 times 4.184. And then solve for x, right? Maybe I'll just say that this is going to be my x for now. OK, so negative 1.0 times 10 to the third equals whatever these two numbers are multiplied by together 103.21 times 4.184 I get 431.8 times x solve for x we're going to divide by 431.8 and that will get us our delta t Right, so X, which was the change in temperature, is 1,000 divided by 431.8. So I get roughly a negative 2.32 degrees Celsius. Now remember, this negative represents that the temperature has dropped. So as you were going from your initial temperature to your final temperature, it fell, it dropped. So how much would the temperature change? The temperature would change by just 2.3, or we could say 2.3, I guess, right? 2.3, eh, 2.32, I guess, degrees Celsius. Now, if they wanted to know what the final temp was, we take it from the initial conditions. The initial temp was 24.9 degrees Celsius. And if I dropped, or if the temperature fell, 2.32 degrees Celsius, you would just subtract those two numbers. 24.9 minus 2.32. I get like, if I rounded 22.6. So this would be 
the initial temp. This is now the new final temp. So it just depends on what the question is asking for. Since they said how much will the temperature change, it will only change by 2.3 degrees. If they wanted to know what the final temp was, the final temp is going to now be 22.6 degrees Celsius. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next lessons. I really hope you're doing well out there. Let's keep studying hard. You guys got this. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I'll see you all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.